Well, they say all roads lead to Daytona, and that includes the NASCAR regular season finale, Coke Zero Sugar 400, that will be racing around the International Speedway this Saturday evening. So before the festivities begin, I decided to head out onto the two and a half mile oval track and see what it's like riding in the pace car. Let's pretend that we just pitted under green flag. Right. We were winning the race, and now we got to get back out in the action around the World Center of Racing. Are okay, you ready? let's see what okay. this is like. Let's go. <laughs> we are honored to have this race where it falls on the schedule of being the regular season finale. In the world of motorsports, the Daytona 500 is the most famed and storied. It's the biggest stock car race in the world. We kick the season off with the Super Bowl here in Daytona, and now we end the regular season here in Daytona with the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Like the famous words from Ricky Bobby, this weekend, if you aim first, you're last. So much is on the line. We've got about 14 drivers that need to win Win the race if they want to keep their championship hopes alive. So it's not about playing it safe, maybe finishing third and getting in on points. They must win. We're entering turn one. This is 31 degrees of banking, and we're going to keep this car as close as we can to the wall as possible. The famed World Center of Racing will put the pedal to the metal and the skill of a driver to the front of stage. This is not a track where you can take it easy. And this is a track when wrecks happen, they happen in a big way. When drivers start their engines, it will be for the final time in the regular season, a last chance effort to earn a playoff spot. It's game seven vibes. I mean, it is just that level of intensity, seriousness. If you're a fan and your driver's locked in, like you're just coming out here to have a good time and see your driver go around but if you're a fan of a driver that is not a guaranteed lock into the playoffs man this is all you're talking about all week definitely notice that the track starts to get narrow right about here mm -hmm. and now if your eyes will look up you can see the starter stand and you can see the start finish line so this area right here is what produces all of our dramatic and dynamic finishes these cars are bunched up, they're pushing each other, and our start finish line is in the middle of a corner, which again just makes for some really, really uh, intense action on the racetrack. Well, Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. are battling for the 2023 regular season championship title. Both are vying for the crown, heading into Daytona this weekend for the Coke Sierra Sugar 400. Pretty at the Daytona International Speedway, I'm also to Comprehension Channel 4, the local station.